The Other Side Media Group and 91X now present The Other Side Radio Show, a program about people who make a difference from all walks of life in Quinty and beyond. And now here are your hosts, Jeremy and Joshua Davis. Hi, I'm Susan Taggart. I'm here with The Other Side Live with Jeremy and Josh Davis featuring singer-songwriter Josh Lee Anderson, and it starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to The Other Side Live with Joshua and Jeremy Davis and our very special guest star, Josh Lee Anderson. Welcome to our show. Yes, it's so good to have you in the house finally today. We've been working on doing this show with you for some time. Now, if if I can first start out by asking you, Josh, how did you get involved with music in the first place for our listeners who may not know? Well, you see, it started when I was a young boy. Um, my dad and me and my stepmother used to take long trips because I lived in Oshawa, they lived in Tweed, and uh, my dad would always play old country songs, like singers such as Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, and um, Dolly Parton, Red Sovine, stuff like that. It kind of just sunk in from there, I guess. It started all there when I was a young boy, but uh, yeah, it just started boosting from there. So is it just something you, uh, from your childhood that sort of just emerged, but you never envisioned that it would, and and now you're the singing cowboy you are today, Josh. If I can coin it that way. Absolutely. I uh, I was I was uh, original originally started singing to the radio, and uh, I had a good friend of mine, Tim Gould, um, come to me and hear me sing. And he had said that we are going to do something different with this. So he had taken me to a very good engineer here, actually, in Belleville, uh, Michael Jarvis. And uh, that's where the ball started rolling. Now, you were saying, Josh, before we went to air, you are also a singer-songwriter. And it's something that I know... Um, firsthand a little bit about because I'm an inspirational poet as well and poets are kind of like songwriters themselves you know and um, you were telling me about your song you're starting to write about the Brighton Speedway Saturday night so can you tell us about that? I go to Brighton Speedway every Saturday night. Uh, it's probably my second home. Rock on. That's a party place to be. Absolutely. Harry's Place, shout out. And anyways, uh, so I figured maybe since all the race car drivers give us all those great shows, maybe somebody could give back to them for once. You know what I mean? I mean, show them the love and support that they show the fans every Saturday night. So I started this song called Brighton Speedway Saturday Nights, and uh, it's been a tough one to write, but it's it's coming soon. I was just wondering, Josh, have you have you seen Will Ferrell there? We were Ricky Bobby, you know, tell tell it. Good nights. I definitely have not seen him or his cougar car. No, I haven't. Shake and bake, you know. Well, that would be quite something <laughs> if, you, if you ever saw Will Ferrell there. Um, yes, um, it's neat to get the local perspective, too, from every artist who appears on this very program, The Other Side Live, today, and... When you're talking about Brighton Speedway, we love that place, too. It's steeped in a lot of history. Uh, Lou Rinaldi and his family um, have really uh, done a lot of great things there. Of course, Lou Rinaldi, the former uh, Brighton mayor and and the former um, longtime MPP uh, from 
that area, so we've known him really well. So um, what I want to get to, Josh, is you are embarking on doing a lot of uh, different music, not only penning your own music as an accomplished singer-songwriter, Canadian singer-songwriter, which you are, but um, you have a lot of musical influences, as you alluded to, like Johnny Cash, Merle, Merle Haggard, and so on. And so uh, you have started releasing and independently producing a lot of um, great material on your own YouTube channel, uh, including um, Folsom Prison Blues by uh, the Man in Black, Johnny Cash himself, and so many others. Um, maybe you can tell us about your latest venture in that regard, and we'll go from there, Josh. Well, I absolutely love covering songs. Um, <clears throat> As I said before, I was raised on country. And it's actually kind of funny that a song is wrote called Raised on Country. And um, it just kind of stuck. I, uh, the, the songs that I'm working on now, the covers I'm working on now, are uh, I'm, I'm focusing on Seven Spanish Angels uh, by Ray Charles and Willie Nelson. Uh, I'm focused on uh, When You Say Nothing At All by Keith Whitley. Um, I love doing covers by any old country singer. Um, it all just came from my country roots, I guess. I didn't feel anything other than uh, love and, and compassion and meaning when I heard country music. So now I'm trying to bring the oldies back. Now, Josh, in your opinion... Do you believe country music can bring back the love and the peace and the harmony to the world in a world um, that sometimes has so many hardships and different, um, different sacrifices that, that we can come together and sort of um, be one, if you know what I mean. I, abso I absolutely believe that we can. Um, the way I see it, country music comes from the soul. Um, it, it has more meaning than any other genre that I've heard. I mean, all the songs usually have to do with love and, and, and forgiveness and peace. And I just would like to bring it back and bring out that love, forgiveness, and peace to everybody again. And I would, uh, I would love to just make everyone see that the world is not as hard as it seems. Now, before we get to the first song that you want to perform here live on the other side live today at Club 35, um, I want to just ask... On a personal note, how did your late great father that we knew, Randy, how did he influence you to go into the music um, or inspire you to perform what you do today? Well, that there's an easy one. Uh, again, I, um, I was singing to the uh, songs themselves and... Uh, I've had my dad around a lot when I've done that, and he told me that I was wasting my talent. But I didn't really have faith enough in myself to pursue that talent. And that's where Tim Gould came in and kind of made me believe also that I could do it. And then we made something happen with it. Now, I want to uh, just get to the first song, if we may. And then we've got lots more conversation and more music. But let's hit it um, on the other side live with seven Spanish angels. Take it away, Josh Lee. He looked down 
coming to her brown eyes and said, say a prayer for me. She threw her arms around him, whispered, God will keep us free. They could hear the riders coming. He said, this is my last fight. They take me back to Texas. They won't take me back alive. There were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. They were praying for the lovers in the valley of the guns. And when the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne. And seven Spanish angels took another angel home. She reached down and picked the gun up that lay smoking in his hand. Said, Father, please forgive me. I can't make it without my man. And she knew the gun was empty And she knew that she couldn't win But her final prayer was answered When the rifles fired again There were seven Spanish angels At the altar of the sun They were praying for the lovers in the valley of the guns When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared There was thunder from the throne And seven Spanish angels Took another angel home There were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun They were praying for the lovers In the valley of the guns When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared There was thunder from the throne And seven Spanish angels Took another angel home There were seven Spanish angels At the altar of the sun and They were praying for the lovers In the valley of the guns And when the battle stopped and the smoke cleared there was thunder from the throne And seven Spanish angels Took another angel home Well, that was better than Willie Nelson himself You know, uh, and that seven Spanish angels You know what I want to ask you before we get to uh, any other songs or another part of the interview is you, you were saying before we went to air today that you are going to be doing, well, you do many events per year, but you're going to be doing another uh, benefit event coming up this summer at Swix Island for two charities that are near and dear to our hearts because everyone has been touched by the cause in some way or another, and that is for the Canadian Cancer Society and that cause and mental health issues and awareness. Uh, and so maybe you just want to tell us a bit about that. You know, we lost our grandmother and so many other uh, dear friends and family members to cancer and so on. And and we also understand the issues surrounding the other cause. So 
let us know about that, and we'll go from there. Josh. Absolutely. Um, mental health and uh, alone is a very big, very big problem, and um, we need to address it, and uh, we need to show that there are people here supporting and willing to help those who suffer from that. And uh, same with cancer. I've, I've lost pretty much like 90% of my family due to that sickness. And um, I, was, I had been asked by Tim Gould, multimedia, and, uh, to come and show or come and do this show. And um, he had told me it was a benefit concert and a chair, like a charitable gig. So I was like, absolutely. Like, no, hands down, I'm in. So he put me on a list and I will be there in Swix Park and we will rock that park and show the love for those who suffer. Once again, Josh, we should point out um, that these um, causes are near and dear to us and uh, mental Illness is something that needs to be addressed and something that people shouldn't be ashamed of. Um, can you elaborate how, as young people, we should try and um, come together and get rid of the stigma for a lot of these people out there that are afraid to come forward and are afraid to say they're depressed or they're sad or something of that nature? Well, they just need the support and they need to know that they do have people willing to help and that will be there for them whenever they need. And I feel myself that there's not enough of that in the world and that there does need to be more of it. Um, so I want to try and be one of those people that help yeah. folks like yeah. that. And I, that. I, uh, I will do anything in my power to make sure that happens. Do you believe it gets a raw deal next to like a disease of cancer? Like, because don't get me wrong. Um, when everybody... Everybody knows you have cancer. They're a little more accepting to that than a mental illness. Um, so what is your thoughts on that? Well, as you said earlier, it is, it, it is very hard. It is very hard to uh, come out about mental health. It's re really hard to have people understand where you're coming from. Um, so again, like we got to have that support system and we got to make sure and help those who, who have mental health fight through it like a team, like we all get together as a team and do it. Now with cancer, it's a bit different. It's not as easy, like it's not easy to come out and say, okay, well, I, I'm sick, but it's a little more, the yeah, it's a little more, uh, little more understanding and a little easier, I guess, when it comes to cancer to come out and just kind of say I'm sick. But when it comes to mental health, it's 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 kind of harder. So we need support to let people come out and be free about it. Now, Josh, uh, time quickly runs away here. We'll have to have you back. Uh, but there's a few things I, I want to ask you. People listening today to the other side live here at Club 35 is um, wondering, um, you know, um, how they can hear more from you. And you've got a, a beautiful YouTube channel, as I mentioned, Josh Lee Anderson. You know, we've subscribed for free or some good old JLA country. You got to hear it, folks. Uh, and um, so uh, maybe you can tell them about that, your social media links, how they can reach you. And the other thing is, what do you want to achieve in your remarkable musical career so far? Um, 
I'm sure I, I could picture you going to Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry. By the way, we want to dedicate this show to, um, you know, the people of Nashville and all the first responders after the um, tragedy down there and um, that. And we hope um, it, um, you know, comes together. Um, the rebuilding very quickly. Uh, it's a beautiful place down there. We were down there in the 90s, and we saw Garth Brooks at the Opry. So uh, can you tell us about your social media and what you want to do next? And we'll get to the next song on Other Side Live here today. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you, can, uh, you can follow my Facebook page, which is Josh Lee Anderson. Um, you can follow my YouTube channel, Josh Lee Anderson again. Um, I have a few songs out there now. I'm working on a few more. Um, I'm going to bring a little new country into the <clears throat> old mix and uh, still keep my old country roots as well. So if you'd like to hear some of my stuff, just go there and feel free to subscribe and like and share and uh, enjoy the music that you hear. My... Uh, my reasoning for all this is just, just to kind of bring back the smiles on people's faces. We don't hear much old m music anymore, and I don't, I don't think we appreciate music as much as we should. So I would like to just bring it back and maybe give it a bit more of a life. Like, I, I don't want to see it fade out, and I'm not the type of artist that will let it fade out. Would you like to be in Nashville? I would love to be in Nashville. <laughs> That'd be a big dream of mine, but I'm try I'm I'm just gonna do what I'm doing now, and uh, hopefully one day it happens. Now, who would you like to perform with in Nashville if given the chance? The only person. Uh, well, there's a lot of people, but my favorite my favorite person to perform with, I think, would hands down would be. Blake Shelton. Well, absolutely. That would be amazing. And we'll buy tickets to that show. Or uh, we'll team up with them and do an other side media national production with you, Josh Lee Anderson and Blake Sheldon. So um, without further ado, we want to get to the next song here. So tell us what you're going to do and take it away. All right. Well, the next one I have for you guys is The Ring of Fire. Um, we'll get that going on here in a jiffy. Love is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Found by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire The taste of love is sweet When hearts like ours meet I fell for you like a child Oh, but the fire went wild I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire, the ring of fire 
I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. The flames went higher, and it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. The ring of fire. Well, that ring of fire. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, thank you, Josh. Thank you very much. Better than Johnny Cash. Now, I just want to say to the people, we will put an extra song on our YouTube channel, Jeremy T. Davis, Belleville, Ontario. So check that out. And um, we also want to dedicate the show to our late great friend, Mayor former mayor, Quinny West Mayor John Williams, who uh, recently passed away. So uh, God bless you, and thank you for your contribution to Quinty. So for now, this has been The Other Side Live at Club 35. I'm Jeremy Davis. I'm Joshua Davis, and God bless everybody, and... See you next time. The Other Side Radio Show is a production of the Other Side Media Group in association with 91X. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved. Connect on Facebook at the Other Side Media Group, Instagram at Jeremy Tyler Davis, or on YouTube at Jeremy T. Davis, Belleville, Ontario, for on-demand episodes and more. Tune in next time for another great episode of the Other Side Radio Show.